Hey guys, welcome to my first makeup tutorial. I've really never done this official recording before, but I am really excited to get, to get going. Um, so I thought I'll do something which is really requested a lot by a lot of you, which is your everyday, you know, makeup. Uh, something which looks mostly nude, nothing overdone, but still, you know, gives you a slightly more refreshed um, and, you know, enterprising, I guess, look. I don't know, I don't have a word for it. But it's really simple. So I normally lay out things that I need before I get started. So the first thing I do is essentially once you wash and have a clean face, start with um, a daily moisturizer. I use the Estee Lauder. I'm, I'm gonna be linking all the products anyway, so you don't have to worry about it. But I start with this moisturizer, which I've used for, um, I don't know, over a decade now. And it's easily one of my favorites. So I start with this. Um, you know, just a little bit of it on my face to get started. I tend to apply my moisturizer pretty much all the way up to my neck only because I'm afraid someday I will wrinkle <laughs> and I need to be prepared for it. So it's going to be, I'm literally going to do it as we go along. I have a teeny little mirror here to help me. I, I really don't even have a setup, you can tell. But, um, you know. Okay, so the next thing I use is essentially a foundation. You can use a primer if you're really going out for a long day or you're looking out for a party or something like that. But with this MAC foundation, it's basically called the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation. I don't know if you can really see it. It's this cute little tube. Uh, so the, the, the color that or the shade that I use is the NC45. You, if you're around my complexion, you can do either NC45 or just uh, a shade below. This makes me look a little bit more tan than I actually am, which is, uh, I'm, I mean, I'm fine with it, but you know, it depends on what your choice is. So just go ahead. Now you need to have a brush, which is like this. This is basically a really thick, um, you know, I don't know what to call it. It's like a foundation brush. So you don't really rub your makeup on, you dab it on. So this takes me like half a second, but just like, dab it on evenly across the good thing about this um makeup sorry about this um foundation is that this is all you'll need to do um to kind of keep your uh skin looking refreshed all day long it's seriously truly long wear um stays on all the way from like my eight in the morning till 6 p.m till i come home um you really don't need to and it's really light um but it gives you full coverage so that's my makeup and that's it that is my face that's the base for my face <laughs> um if you guys have really oily skin you can think about putting on like a powder but i don't um so the next thing i do is moving on to my eyes this is something i like to focus on <laughs> so i use something called as dear dahlia uh, this is one of my favorite makeup brands. It's Malaysian. Uh, it's a Malaysian makeup brand. So it has this sort of um, this, It opens on both sides. So on one side you have this you can see how used it is But on one side you have this creamy base that just goes on. So for that I use like a simple painters brush Your brushes are really important. You can see the number of brushes I have But it's important that you have different types of brushes because that gives you how quickly you can sweep things on so just take a little bit of it and literally you know, gen Oops. <laughs> that doesn't happen actually. Uh, generously kind of layer it on your eyelid on both sides. Uh, you don't need to go over and about if you're doing like a smoky eye, you know, if you're going out and stuff, it's a different, slightly more elaborate. But the other side is basically the shimmer. And some of you may not want this, but I, I love it. So I do it anyway, just a little bit of it. Um, you know, just dab it on. Just because, and this shimmer actually stays all day. And I'm really comfortable with, you know, having a little extra on me because I am extra. Uh, but if you're not comfortable with it, you can skip this step. Um, I do this every day for work. And honestly, it, it, it doesn't stand out as much, so I'm okay with it. I love how cute the packaging is. So you just, you know, just throw this in your bag and you're good to go. So the next thing I do, actually before I do that, is 
I cannot live without this. This is by far my favorite thing in the world. This is basically the MAC Technical uh, Eyeliner. It's, uh, it's basically Kajo. I don't know if you know about it or Kohl. But this is literally what I cannot live without. And you'll even see like residues even after I wash my face. So I go all the way in because I like my makeup a little dark. Okay, and then I essentially put this on. If you had maybe like a different kind of, um, if you're going out to a party, you may want to get some highlighter in there. I'm not gonna do that because this is like my everyday routine and I don't go crazy. Uh, so now you just kinda use, uh, okay, so this is the eyeliner before I forget. I use a liquid eyeliner for the top, uh, for the top part of my like, little eyeliner. Uh, this is basically the MAC, liquid last liner i'm going to be linking this but this is another amazing waterproof product you can go through hell and come back and your liner will stay perfect i'm going to actually pick this up sorry So simple as that. Gonna get this on the other side as well. You know, everybody has different eyeliner skills. I just I like the ends of mine to be a little bit thicker. There. Okay. Now this one is, this eyeliner is a little bit thick, so you may want to just, you know, take off a little bit from, you can use a napkin for it if you want to, but you can see how I'm just uh, very comfortable with not. <laughs> Um, okay, and lastly, eyeliner. So I have a whole, uh, sorry, uh, mascara. I have a whole bunch of mascaras. You can use really anything. You know, drugstore brands are perfectly fine. I do love YSL. It's one of my favorites, but it's really heavy and it's probably better for like, when you're going for parties. If you're really particular about eyeliners, I do recommend the, uh, this is a lash booster. Um, you can get any lash booster, honestly. There's a whole bunch of them out there. Put that on as a primer, but after that you just go ahead and You can tell it's my first time, like I'm holding the mirror right in front of me, so that's really stupid. But I'll get better, I promise. This was the easiest I could have picked because I do this every day. <laughs> okay, great. I'm gonna put this little guy back in here. So my eyes are done. You know, if you want, you can just like rub off if there's makeup or foundation on it. And my eyes are done. Now, the next thing for my lippy lips, you can really do either. You can either do a dark lip liner. I, I don't go without a lip liner ever. So you can do a dark lip liner. And the one that I'm using, this color is basically called Soar. Or you can, oh, sorry, light lip liner. Or you can use a dark lip liner. This one is called Wine, I think. This is one of my favorites and I've gone through, I don't know how many of these by, by now. So no matter what the shade of my lipstick, I, I start with a dark lip liner. So go simply, you know, line it up. That was not well done and normally I can do better than this, but whatever. Now you, 
you can mix you know i have a whole bunch of lipsticks that i use so, so these days i'm using a combination of this really dark cherry layered on with this total nude lipstick so this is an after dark comfort matte layered on with stark makeup comfort matte so i'm going to start with this You can see this is really dark and even I'm not comfortable wearing something so dark to work. So now see the magic of this guy. And I'm done. It literally takes me because it, it's like five you know, items on my face and I'm all done, ready for work. A lot of times I literally sit in my car, I like just wash my face and like rush into the car, pick up my coffee and like I'll stop at every signal that I stop at, I'll like do one, like one day I'll do the face and then I'll do up the eyes and then I'll do the lips and then I keep like the, the eyeliner for the last stop just before I get off. And that's it. This takes no time and you look pretty amazing just with a little bit of effort. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm linking all the, all the, products but please leave me a comment and let me know what you think and if you'd like for me to do more of these please subscribe to my channel thank you